Maybe I can just shut up. Hmm. That's weird. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about the new Transformers movie, Rise of the Beast. I just saw it. <clears throat> I saw it in the 4DX 3D. And I have to say it was a chore to get through, unfortunately. <laughs> but besides the first one, they all were. Um, if I had to say, if I had to rate it on uh, entertainment value, I would probably rate it. The first one is the best, of course. The very first one it was like in 2007 already. Jeez. And then Bumblebee, and then this one. And it has a lot of great fight scenes, but in between the acting is terrible as such. I mean, all these portrayals are pretty much the same. They can't really act to save their lives, and they just come off as really bland and awkward. <laughs> uh, one thing that I noticed uh, for certain, uh, just like with every mo movie coming out, this time travel business and all this other stuff, you know, that's heavy, heavy paraphernalia in there, but it's no different. All this stuff points to CERN. Look it up. It's in Switzerland. Just look it up. I don't even get why they're, like, it's just like, we should just broadcast this shit already. It's ridiculous. And then there's like... Hieroglyphic symbolism and stuff like that. They're trying to push Horus in your face and... Yeah, it's... It's so blatant. Like... But... Yeah, and there's like two like scenes, like short little scenes at the end, and it's, I mean, I could care less. I know some, there's a lot of people that are excited for a collaboration, but if you know by now, like, it's, it's not about meeting fan expectancies. Sure, they'll throw they'll throw in some nostalgic value. They'll throw in some stuff that you may like, and you may be like, "Hey, I remember that," you know, because they still need your money. You know, you're just paying for treachery. And yeah, of course, I've mentioned it before. I'm guilty. I just went to go see a damn movie. <clears throat> but there's plenty of holes in the sky in the movie. We got that over here now. Infiltrated by China. So we're at war. People are being distracted by movies like this. And they got like... They got like these robot... Like spiders... Portrayed in the movie. We already got that stuff. <laughs> It looks really gruesome in the movie, you know. But that stuff's already real. It's been. And that's why this, you know, this stuff's inserted into movies. It's predictive programming. Start waking up. Start waking up. You know. It's time to. It's time to just accept it already. Yeah, because this shit's going to be published, you know, broadcasted everywhere for the most part because it's like in the movie, it's, it's in the movie too. There's a Transformer that, or 
it's a maximal and it gets it gets hit by the enemy <clears throat> and it's like a symbol you know for the Autobots and the Maximals <sighs> it's like their mark of the beast and that took up like a good like near a, like half hour for that character to just go off and not be that important and go figure they have you know uh, Michelle Yeoh like she's the one that portrays the Maximal and you know she's great you know she's a great actress but again some symbolism China's taking over don't shoot the messenger. We've been in debt to China for more than a decade by now. It's all according to their stupid little fucking plan. We've been sold out. That's why nothing's getting done with freaking Biden. They just said that it would take like a five year deal to get him out of office. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's so corrupt. <clears throat> but you know what? This is why stuff like this is happening. Word of mouth is always key. But bigger things are going to happen. And that's why they're saying in all these movies that some big thing is happening or is coming. And we, and it's true, and we are just too insignificant to stop it. It's inevitable. And truly it is. Look up CERN. Really look it up. If you're in for something, you want to really know what the big picture is about, what's going on on the ground. Look that up. It's stupid. I'm sick of seeing it on all the stupid movies. Surprised I didn't walk out. I didn't watch all of the second end credit scene, but I pretty much got the idea. And you know, I'll just say right now, like I'll spoil. I'll talk about a little bit of spoilers in the movie. So right now, if you don't want it spoiled, we just end it. But. <clears throat> Oh, you know, and I'll say, like, I think the mainstay of that film is definitely, like, as far as a newcomer, is definitely Pete Davidson voicing Mirage. And Mirage as a whole was a good character. Uh, but the, you know, like, the, the actual actors in the movie, oh, they're terrible. The Noah character, I feel like it's symbolism once again. You call him Noah to symbolize the flood. Because, like I said, you know, shit's going to stir. And we're going to see it and all this stuff. And there's another blackout, big old blackout that happens in the movie. Just like Cross the Spider-Verse, just like Sonic the Hedgehog. All these characters cause a stupid blackout because we're going to see that. We're going to see more blackouts in our, you know, in our coming future. It's all according to plan. It's all according to plan, but don't be afraid. That's the thing that's that's the enemy right there. <clears throat> Can't be afraid now. But combat it just you know, you don't have to do anything. But it's just good to be alert. It's good to be aware. It's good enough to be scared. But sorry I don't mean to ramble. But I was seeing that in this movie like this it was fun you know the action scenes like I said probably like the best maybe like the best action scenes in the whole franchise in this film possibly but entertaining wise oh definitely not it was a chore to get through a lot of flat you know jokes if you want to call them that they didn't land and it was great seeing Bumblebee, some of the little, you know, sound 
bits of dialogue that he has are pretty cool, how they inserted. And of course, Optimus Prime, Peter Cullen. Autobots, roll out! Yeah, he's in there. He sounds so... He's up there, he's like in his 80s. It's like, man... Might be the last one, you know, knock on some wood, but might be the last one we see is, you know, Peter Cullen voicing Optimus, who knows? Unless he does, like, some AI stuff like James Earl Jones did. Uh, it's crazy, it just doesn't come off the same the AI shit. And as as that should be, because it's not. Uh I mean, Bumblebee was definitely the standout. Mirage was the best new character. The Maximals, they were okay. It was unfortunate that we didn't really see. There's a big battle near the end, and it's it's great. But there's just not enough, not enough development for the Maximals, and... Not enough fight sequences while they were transformed. It was just a lot of just them in their their maximal form. And there was a, a reference to Bumblebee. Um, as Optimus was talking to to Bumblebee, uh, mentioning was her name Charlie in the first one. Or in Bumblebee the movie. So, I guess I was just referencing to that one being the first movie and a new take for the franchise. I guess the the Bay films are just void. They don't. They didn't happen. So, that's a that's a thing. And then the first end credit scene. It's a GI Joe sequence setting it up. It's really bland and stupid to me, but. People are excited. I can't be mad at that. That's great. It's good to be happy. But, I mean, at this point, like I said, it's not about what the fans want. It's, <laughs> again, it's just stirring up the pot, adding some nostalgic value so they can get that money. They got to draw people in, you know. And don't get me wrong, there's companies that are doing it. They don't even give an F like a certain Yen Sid company about making money. Because it's all according to an agenda. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's another thing too. How they called it the off spark in the first array of films and the Michael Bay films. This it's called uh the trans something key or something like that. And then too, like Noah, the character, the human character, he has like a, in the end already, like he merges with his uh, transformer in a sense where his transformer is like still alive. It kind of didn't make sense to me. Um, because he has this moment where it's like he's going to die. And that whole deal, he well up some emotion and stuff. And then cracks a little joke, comes back. And it's just, it's just transhumanism. That's what it's promoting, basically. When Noah, he gets the suit, or he gets attached to this little like piece that Mirage gave him and it was a part of him and it had like a like a laser gun capability and it was like just like a like a handcuff that Noah would just keep on his wrist and you know what I'm just thinking about that now talking about it maybe that's more Mark of the Beast symbology or symbolism excuse me uh, aside from when Air Razor gets hit by Scourge, like a black spot type of metaphor. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then the exosuit, it looks terrible. Like, it's just 
Some some sequences is just real muddy CGI. You can tell like it was just rushed, and it just looks terrible. It's 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 not bad, but it just gets redundant to look at, especially if you're watching it in 3D. After a certain point, I didn't check my watch or check my phone, just out of the courtesy of others, because that place was packed. And those seats, they move like a roller coaster, so it's it's a different take. And a lot of people, they go just for that experience. It's it's a crazy way of experiencing films. It either takes you out of the experience or makes it more immersive, either way. But it is something. It's crazy how far movies have come. Anyways. Yeah, it's my little ditty on this film. I would say my favorite thing about it was the introduction of Optimus Primal. I thought it was unfortunate that there were no Dinobots, no Rat Trap. I was so looking forward to seeing Rat Trap. Hey, it's Rat Trap! (laughs) Like something like that, like like his voice from Beast Wars. But Optimus Primal was cool. There's an actual like racist joke too by Wheeljack. It's kind of stupid. Uh, but it's like whatever, you know. Um, and then... Uh, what else? Uh, I thought... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Starscream was going to be in this, but I don't think he was, as far as I know. There was only, like, two, like, henchmen, uh, Terracons, and, like, the main villain, which is Scourge, or besides the Unicron character, who's, like, in this case, it's like CERN. It's like a, it's like a planet destroyer. It's like a time machine a bad time machine destructive time machine like a portal like a wormhole almost a destructive wormhole well it's been churning since the baby boomers were booming well anyways yep so they're setting it up for a sequel. Probably gonna be a slew of films, but yeah, I wouldn't see that movie again. Surprised if uh, I don't know. Just I really I don't know. Optimus kind of felt like out of place in this. I don't know. I just, uh, I hope they can do something with it, but actually they really don't give a shit. So, like I said, it's not about the fans. It's the illusion, you know. Um, And again, don't shoot the messenger. Because, like, transhumanism and stuff like that, like... There's a thing to be resourceful, you know, we live with resources on this earth and, you know, I'm, I'm an example of that, you know, I've had to have means of advanced technology to save my life and, you know, I can't be mad at that, I can't be mad at that if it's going to save people's lives or do something to exactly like excel someone else's struggle. Of course, like you, you know, you want the best for a life, a life in general. You know, because like I said, life's too damn short. <clears throat> but, yeah, like, movies like these, it's like, <laughs> it's like, no, I don't feel like I wasted two hours of my life, but I wouldn't watch it again. Maybe, just maybe, if on release, if it gets a a really nice rendition in 4K, like a native um, 
excuse me, a native, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, a native 4K release. Uh, then I, I just might just to look at how pretty it would look on a screen, but again, it's material that's, they really don't really freaking matter, you know? But yeah, I wouldn't, I would save my money and not even go see this. Um, I initially was going to go see it on IMAX 3D too, and I'm glad I didn't. Cause I, I seen somewhere someone said that like it was really good, like seeing an IMAX and like usually like movies are great watching in an IMAX, but if it's not filmed in IMAX, like usually it doesn't look that great. You don't really get the bang for your buck. So I guess you saw it in that 40x thing. It's like even if the movie's like bland and not the best. It's like the seats actually make for the more entertaining part at least. So I guess that was okay. But yeah, I was just Yeah, no no dino bots. I was like kinda like thrown off by that. It's like why would they not include them? But <clears throat> Plenty of time for that later. I'm sure they got like a bunch of films on the on the bat, you know, on the docket for them. The agenda. Mm. There's a part two where like uh. Mar oh, shoot, I forgot what Mirage says verbatim, but he he's like, no, I like get get to the something, and like it just reminded me of the first film when <laughs> like near the ending when like Optimus he tells uh, Shia LaBeouf's character Sam Witwicky he's like, Sam, get to the building. <laughs> it's so funny, uh, but. I would watch, like, I don't get tired of that first Transformers movie, the Michael Bay one. That one's great, but the only thing that holds this one up, the Rise of the Beast one, is Bumblebee, excluding Optimus, because Optimus is, of course, like, the reason why the seats are getting filled. I would just say, like, you know, it's just Bumblebee. Cause he has like a redemption scene near the end and you get the don't call it a comeback song and stuff like that and marks off all these all these uh cybernetic droids and stuff it's pretty pretty cool but whoever's listening right now what's up anyways just wanted to talk about that but I'm going to get going. So have yourself a good night.